London Hotel, the draw for the World Cup. And Sir Stanley Rouse, president of FIFA, gives the order of matches for the 16 teams competing in this fortnight's festival. Here's a selection of some of the more interesting games. England versus Uruguay in the opening match on July the 11th at Wembley. On July the 13th, also at Wembley, France versus Mexico. July the 16th, at Wembley, Mexico versus England. On the 19th at Wembley, Mexico versus Uruguay. And on July the 20th, France versus England at Wembley. On July the 13th at Aston Villa, Birmingham, Spain will play the Argentine. And on July the 15th at Sheffield, Switzerland will play Sw Spain. July the 16th at Aston Villa, the Argentine will play West Germany. July the 15th at Everton, Brazil versus Hungary. July the 16th in Manchester, Portugal versus Bulgaria. And at Everton on the 19th of July, Portugal versus Brazil. And on the 20th of July at Manchester, Hungary versus Bulgaria. July the 16th at Sunderland, Italy versus the USSR. And on July the 20th, the last match in that group at Sunderland, Chile versus the USSR. The representative of the Brazilian team, present holders of the World Cup, returns the trophy. Whether they will leave it here permanently or just temporarily will be seen in July. Thank you very much indeed for your attendance, to the players, good playing, and for the spectators, some excellent sporting matches. Thank you. Certainly, the draw which groups England with Uruguay, France and Mexico could have been a lot worse. Our chances of reaching the semi-finals have risen. Some people are linking England with Brazil as World Cup favourites. And this might be wishful thinking. Remember England's recent match against Poland? England in white, playing right to left. Poland is not among the World Cup finalists, but her team, made up of coal miners and students, was able to show up some of the weak points of Alf Ramsey's hopefuls. Poland opened the scoring just before the interval, a pass from their outside right, and centre-forward Sadek neatly filed Gordon Banks. Second half and England finding it hard to make the most of their 4-3-3 system on the quagmire at Everton. But when they got near the goal mouth, they were very near to scoring. <laughs> Poland's defence is typical of the continental sides we'll be facing in the World Cup. It kept us out until 13 minutes from time when Bobby Moore scored the equaliser, heading it in past Poland's keeper. One more needed to win, and Moore nearly got that one too. But the match was to remain a draw. That was unimportant in itself. What does matter is that Poland had shown up the poor finishing power of England's World Cup eleven. After the match, Alf Ramsey declared that he was delighted at England's performance. Let's hope you'll be justified. 